Hello everybody, welcome to another video. This one will be going over the stone idols you collect throughout Salt and Sanctuary and how you use them. So, here we go. Now if you've been all over the Befest Banquet, um, you will have found at least four stone idols and you can have one idol as a starting gift, depending if you choose it. Now, in order to use them, you activate your sanctuary and you go down to make an offering. Now, it is important that you decide which stone idol you want to use because you can only use four per sanctuary and they offer different bonuses. The stone cell sword, increased shield blocking, the stone guide, increased item find, as well as you to teleport between sanctuaries, stone merchant, a bonus to gold drop, allows you to buy and sell items. Blacksmith, attack bonus, upgrading by weapons and armor. The cleric, by prayers, which are the game's equivalent to miracles out of Dark Souls, and offers a increase to their potency, so more effective healing. Once you've used an idol, you can see the sanctuary is now populated by NPCs. And I'll just go through the inventory of the merchant and the blacksmith. Um, a key item would be the red shard, it works like a life gem out of Dark Souls 2. A bag of salt, it allows you to acquire salt to level up. Um, a merchant's officer uniform that you can buy, good light and defense. Uh, that salt seeker's ring makes it easier to find where you've died and collect your salt. The blacksmith offers a range of class 0 weapons and two class 1 weapons. So got all your melee classes sorted. Then he does offer a, few, a couple of shields, but the armor he has to offer isn't that great. And of course, your upgrading menu. So, blacksmith would sort of be a key one to have in every sanctuary. Um, also because of that attack bonus. Um, the cleric, um, as you can see, not many to offer but there are other cleric NPCs that offer more prayers. A key item that she sells is blessed paper and that's important for a later boss you fight. So I recommend stack up on that. Now one of the stone idols I find to be the most crucial is the stone guide because It'll allow you to travel to every sanctuary you visited, and if you sworn over to another covenant, you can eat, it doesn't matter, you can still go back to that sanctuary and level up, but you cannot take an oath with them. But, well, as well with the stone guide, you see the item, the calling horn, works like a homeward bone out of Dark Souls, but as you can see here, I don't have the option to go to every sanctuary, because with each of these sanctuaries you notice they all have the stone guide idol so it's sort of crucial where you use the stone guide uh, hopefully this video has helped made it easier to understand the idols how to use them and the effectiveness of them um, so if you do feel the video's earned it, give it a like. If not, leave a dislike. Any feedback, criticism, always leave it in the comments. And see you in the next video.